I'm gonna do fully catheter insertion and removal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over the physician's order sheet. It's February 7th, 2021 at 0736. The doctor is ordered to insert fully catheter now to monitor fluid balance ins and outs closely. The patient is Jake Nursing, date of birth January 1st, 1960, which I'll verify once I get in the room. I've already done peri care on this patient prior to inserting the Foley, so I'm gonna do hand hygiene and collect my supplies. I need a Foley catheter tray, urinary drainage bag, sterile gloves, and a 14 French Foley catheter, then I can enter the room. Upon entering the room, I can knock on the door and do my entrance safety check. The patient doesn't appear to be in any distress in terms of their ABCs, the bed's at the lowest position, the call bell's within reach, there's no hazards, tubes, or lines you need to be aware of. Hi, my name's Katerina Kandeas. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. I'm just gonna verify your wristband. We have patient Jake Nursing, date of birth, January 1st, 1960. Can you tell me your first and last name? They say Jake Nursing, and your date of birth? They say January 1st, 1960. Do you have any allergies? They say no. Great. Okay, Jake, we're going to be inserting a Foley catheter today. What this is, it's like a sterile straw that sits in your bladder that's held in place by a balloon. It's going to help you void. The physician has ordered this because we would like to monitor your fluid balance, your ins and outs as closely as possible. Are you still okay with this procedure? They say yes. Great, so I would do hand hygiene and assist the patient into the correct position. Since Jake Nursing is a female, I can assist them into dorsal recumbent position with the legs wide and the knees out to the side if comfortable. I can then place a blue absorbent pad underneath the patient's hips. Once I've done that, I can begin setting up my supplies. So I'll do hand hygiene and set up my urinary drainage bag and I'll discard of the wrapper. And I'm going to attach the drainage bag to a non-movable part of the bed. Normally in clinical practice, I would clip this to a blanket to keep it at waist height, but for general purposes, I'm going to let it drop below to the ground, even though we wouldn't do this in clinical practice. Once I've done that, I can begin setting up my supplies. So I'll first start with my Foley catheter tray. I'll remove it from its packaging and discard of the packaging. I can then arrange it here and then begin unwrapping it. Okay, I can then begin setting up my drapes. here and lay in between the patient's legs. I can then get my fenestry to drape. I'll pass it to myself. And this is going to go over top. I can then grab my garbage bag, pass it to myself, and put it at the edge of the bed. I can then set up my Foley catheter. And discard of this. Once I've done that, I'm ready to don my sterile gloves, so I'll do hand hygiene once again. And discard of the 
packaging. And done that I can touch the items in my boat so I can remove the Foley catheter and place it inside the boat and I can discard of this I can then attach my syringe to the port I can open my package of povidone iodine and I can lubricate the tip of the catheter. Since Jake Nursing is a female, I'm going to lubricate at least two to three inches plus a little bit more. and this would be garbage. Once I'm done, I'm ready to move in between the patient's legs. I can place the boat and adjust the drapes if need be. Okay. Okay, Jake, I'm going to clean the area that we're going to be inserting. So I'm going to remove my swab sticks discard of the package. I'm going to retract the labia to expose the urethral meatus and cleanse the far side first. One swipe down and discard. And then I am going to cleanse the near side down and discard. And the middle down and discard. Okay, Jake, I'm going to insert the Foley catheter now. I'm going to ask you to bear down as if you're voiding. And then I'm going to begin inserting the catheter. Two to three inches or until I see urine. I see urine, so I'm going to insert one to two more inches. Great. I'm going to stabilize and then insert the sterile water into the balloon slowly. Once I'm done that, maintaining pressure, I can gently tug on the catheter to ensure that it is in the correct position, which it is. Now that I'm done that, I can disconnect the syringe and I can attach the end to the boat here. Now normally in clinical practice, this would be at my waist height, but for demo purposes, it's below. So I'm going to reach down and then maintaining sterility attach the urinary drainage bag to the end here. Okay. Once I'm done that, I can clean up all my materials that I don't need anymore. Um, and then I can perform pericare on the patient and then attach the catheter to the inside of the patient's leg using a securing device. Once I'm done that, I can remove my gloves perform hand hygiene, and then I can begin my exit safety check. 
Okay, Jake, we're all done inserting your Foley catheter now. Is there anything you need before I go? They say no. Okay, I'll just help you get back into a comfortable position. I'm gonna be back within a half an hour to an hour to check up on you and the Foley catheter. I'm gonna be monitoring your urine output, your due to void within the next eight hours, and a normal output would be 30 milliliters an hour. Um, the patient doesn't appear to be in any distress in terms of their EVCs. The bed's at the lowest position. The call bell's within reach. There's no hazards, tubes, and the only tube line I need to be aware of is the Foley catheter. Once I've done that, I can exit the patient's room and then do my documentation. I would document that I inserted a 14 French Foley catheter inflated with a 10 cc sterile water balloon. I inserted the catheter as per the physician's order to monitor Jake Nursing's ins and outs and his fluid balance as closely as possible. The patient tolerated the procedure well, it was met with minimal resistance, and the amount of urine drained was around 100 milliliters of pale amber urine. There was no foul odor, hematuria, or sediment present. My plan would be to monitor Jake Nursing's ins and outs and urine output um, over the next little while, and I would also plan to monitor the site of insertion for infection or irritation post-insertion. Once I'm done that, I could go back to the med room. I've now gotten a new order from the physician to remove the Foley catheter. I'd review the physician's order again, it, um, and it would state to remove Foley catheter now, as we don't need to monitor um, Jake Nursing's fluid balance or his ins and outs as closely. Um, I would see that it's for the patient Jake Nursing, and his date of birth is January 1st, 1960, which I would verify once I get into the room. I had already performed peri care on the patient, so I would do hand hygiene and collect my supplies. I would need a blue absorbent pad, a 10cc blue relax syringe, and clean gloves. Once I have that, I could enter the patient's room. Upon entering the patient's room, I would knock on the door and do my entrance safety check. The patient doesn't appear to be in any distress in terms of their ABCs. The bed's in the lowest position, the call bell's within reach, there's no hazards, and the only tuber line I need to be aware of is the Foley catheter. Hi, my name is Katerina Candace. I'm going to be your student nurse today, and I'm just going to verify your wristband. So we have the patient, Jake Nursing, and date of birth, January 1st, 1960. Can you tell me your first and last name? They say Jake Nursing, and your date of birth? They say January 1st, 1960. Do you have any allergies? They say no. Okay, great. Okay, Jake, today we're gonna be removing your Foley catheter. The physician has ordered this because we no longer need to monitor your fluid balance or your ins and outs as closely. Are you still okay with this procedure? They say yes. Okay, great. I'm going to do hand hygiene and then assist the patient into the correct position so they'd be lying supine and if comfortable they could have their knees out to the side. Um, I've already performed peri, peri care on the patient so I'm now ready to do hand hygiene and put on my clean gloves. First thing I'm going to do is drain the urinary drainage bag. I'm going to note how much urine drained as well as the characteristics of the urine so I can document it later. I've already done pericare, so I'm going to gather my supplies. I'm going to put the blue absorbent pad underneath the patient's hips and I need my 10 cc Lurelox syringe. So now I'm ready to um, remove the Foley catheter so I can insert the syringe into the port and pull back. I'm looking to pull back the same amount that I instilled, so 10 cc's of sterile water. Okay, once I've done that, I can gently remove the catheter. Okay, Jake, I'm gonna remove the catheter now. You can just relax. I'm gonna inspect the tip to make sure it's intact, and it is, so then I can put it in the boat here. Okay. Once I'm done that, I can clean up all the extra supplies I have around the bedside. I can perform peri care on the patient. Um, and then I'm ready to take off my gloves.
perform hand hygiene. And then I'm ready to begin my exit safety check. So the patient doesn't appear to be in any distress. There's no hazards. Tubes are lines. The bed's in lowest position and the call bell's within reach. Jake, do you need anything else before I go? He says no. Um, I'm going to be back within half an hour to an hour to monitor your urine output. A normal output would be 30 milliliters an hour. After I've done that, I would leave the patient's room and document. I would document that I removed a 14 French Foley catheter and I deflated the balloon and 10 cc's of sterile water came out. The patient tolerated the procedure well. Um, but prior to removing the Foley, I emptied the drainage bag and around 100 milliliters of pale umber urine was drained. There was no foul odor, hematuria, or sediment present. Um, my plan would be to monitor Jake Nursing's urine output as well as monitor the site for any signs of infection or irritation post-removal.